turning points in franchise history. They don't often come. However, the offseason moves made during the turn of the new year signified a direction change for the franchise located right here at One Arrowhead Drive. Coming to work this morning, I noticed satellite trucks gracing Lancer Lane, awaiting the announcement that would later come when the Kansas City Chiefs announced Andy Reid as their 13th head coach in franchise history. The decision to hire Reid is one of many factors in the Chiefs' formula for success. Here's the equation. Take one of the youngest teams in the NFL, a 53-man roster filled with talent, one of the most storied NFL franchises owned by arguably the best family in all of football, the Hunts, mixed with an iconic gem of a stadium, combined with the sea of red, and now add one of the most successful coaches in recent history, along with his seasoned and respectable staff. The end result? It's renaissance time in the city of Fountains as the franchise prepares for bigger and better things into 2013 and beyond. One of the biggest challenges Andy Reid's staff inherits is a Chiefs offense that has struggled to light up the scoreboard, a challenge Reid embraces. The 54-year-old Reid, whose offensive mind has been associated with names like Brian Westbrook, LaShawn McCoy, Deshaun Jackson, and not to mention his priceless ability to turn QBs into success stories, like Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, and a guy named Farr. Has Andy Reid fared well during his last two seasons? No but his entire body of work in the NFL speaks for itself. Reed boasts a regular season career record of 130 wins, 93 losses, and one tie. He also owns a 10-9 postseason record, ranking 22nd in NFL history in regular season and postseason victories. Among active head coaches through week 17 of the 2012 season, Reed ranks fifth in regular season and playoff wins, trailing only Bill Belichick, Mike Shanahan, Tom Coughlin, and Jeff Fisher. All season long, Kingdom fans have craved for their team to compete, plain and simple. That competition will reflect the work that gets done from January to August, which if you ask me, has already begun in a spectacular fashion. What's next to come? How about trips to the Senior Bowl and NFL Combine, as well as free agency and the NFL Draft in April? We'll cover it all for you Kingdom fans right here at kcchiefs.com. The difficulties of the 2012 season, both on and off the field, are now being replaced with an electricity and an optimism that are contagious. Stepping out of the insider role and speaking strictly as a fan, I can't wait to see a packed Arrowhead Stadium with fans cheering on their team to division titles, playoff victories, and beyond. So hold tight, Chiefs fans, and enjoy the ride.